Dr. Vaishnavi Jimmy Tassar brings over 16 years of dedicated service as an assistant professor at PTVA's Mulun College of Commerce. With a robust educational foundation in computer science, including B.Sc. and M.Sc. degrees, she completed her doctoral journey in span of five years. Her study focused on handwriting analysis and artificial intelligence. The topic of her thesis is predicting human behavior from handwriting analysis using convolutional neural network. She also is a certified graphologist. She has been invited as a guest speaker for undergraduate and postgraduate students. She has also published research papers in international and national journals, driven by a passion for teaching and a commitment to advancing knowledge. Her diverse interest in computer science, artificial intelligence, computer security, and cyber forensics. So welcome Vidya Vachaspati, Dr. Vaishnavi Asa. Namaskar. I come from computer science background. Nowadays, technology is everywhere and the blooming area in technology is artificial intelligence. Since from childhood, we were asked to write in beautiful handwriting or uh, your handwriting should be neat and clean. And that's how I got interested in graphology and thought of combining technology with the graphology. My research topic was predicting human behavior from handwriting analysis using convolutional neural network under the guidance of Dr. Vinod Vaze and Dr. Hiren Dhan. Every individual in this world is born with the unique features. This uniqueness can be identified in various ways like their fingerprints, DNA, voice, retinal pattern, handwriting, etc. Handwriting is mirror to one's personality. Handwriting is produced by neuromuscular movement generated by brain. It is also referred to as brain writing. Brain forms characters based on habits of writers and each neurological brain pattern forms a distinctive neuromuscular movement which is similar for individuals with the same type of personality. Handwriting analysis or graphology is a scientific method for identifying, evaluating and understanding personality through the strokes, patterns revealed by the handwriting. Handwriting reveals the true personality including emotional outlay, fear and many other individual characteristics. The analysis of handwriting has an important role in various fields such as medical, 
forensic investigations, etc. Handwriting is type of behavioral biometric that can also be used to identify the writer. Artificial intelligence has arisen as scientific approach with no common, uh, commonly agreed definition. Artificial intelligence was developed as a result of rapid growth and development of personal computers. Initially, intelligence was thought to be the sole property of biological being, but the steady advancement of computer system began to change this attitude. Understanding, thinking, the ability to know and the ability to implement are the examples of intelligence that may not be innate, but purposefully developed in a machine. There is a wide range of disciplines including robotics, computer games, machine learning, neural networks, natural language system, expert systems, simulation of senses. Research into recognition of handwriting has been going on for several decades now. Pattern recognition comprises three key processes such as observation of pattern, classification of pattern and segmentation of pattern. The identification of handwritten characters is one of the most important challenges in the pattern identification. The observation of pattern goes like what letter is written or which letter is this curve is forming which letter that we need to teach the machine. M and N hulls, lower letter O, random strokes or the loop letter uh, writing loop of B or D alphabet, the stem of T where or there are certain tail shaped letters like small letter Y and G. Classification of pattern gives you the uh, how you will classify the set of alphabets that is whether the letter has lower letter a loop or the letter has the upper letter loop. If you are writing in cursive then F has lower letter as well as upper letter loop. There is a segmentation of the pattern depending on the classification there will be applied a segmentation of the pattern. The T bar height whether that bar is slanted or what is the size of that small letter T bar and what is uh, how much space is left in the margin on the left margin or on the right margin or the spacing between the words. The model will be useful to detect the alphabets and analyze the human nature depending on the way it is written. This will also help to study human psychology. This will also classify and analyze the human behavior and it will help to identify individual's strength and weakness. And to implement this, a CNN that is convolutional neural network is used. This network helps in the image based data recognition. It works by placing a filter over an array of image pixels and this creates a convolved feature map. In this, you will concentrate on some of the features similar to how we see a picture through window. I accepted users handwriting images and applied a filter to highlight the strokes or the pattern or the curves of the letters from that image. It is a feed forward network that filters the special data that is it is, uh, it is used to perceive patterns across spaces. So this model this worked as you will have an, a sample image of handwriting on which you will be applying CNN and as the output you will be getting the classified pattern and the determining and it will be determining the nature and the behavior of the person. So it will have one uh, input then it goes for the image acquisition then it goes for the pre-processing which will remove the noise that is anything else written outside that uh, letter or the alphabet. Then, it, uh, then the letter will be identified that is the features will be extracted. If it is A, then the curve, how the curve is written, the A's curve is written or if the letter or the alphabet is D, then how the loop will be written and then that will go for further classification and finally the output will be 
the person's uh, person nature or you can say what that person is going through or the person's strength. The main objective of this was to study the existing alphabet recognition system, to analyze the existing alphabet recognition system, to develop and design revolutionary handwriting analysis system that overcomes present system constraints and to conduct a comparative examination of methods against existing methods. Along with collecting the samples of handwriting, I created a questionnaire which is having few questions about one's personality like do they enjoy meeting new people, whether they are afraid of challenges or do they uh, like to party or whether they can adjust easily in the new work environment and so on. From which I received many samples and I got the handwriting samples as well of the same person and on that I applied the CNN. There are some of the handwriting traits are say for example margins. So margin if there is a lot of space left on the left side of the margin that means exhibits courage. On the right side then that person is a less uh, less risk taker. If the size of the handwriting is too small then the person is introvert. If it is very large then the person is extrovert outgoing. There are if the breaks uh, there are breaks in the alphabet that is if the alphabets are very much connected then the person has a good analytical thinking. If they are disconnected then the person is very sensitive. If the space between word is narrow then the person is very dependent. If it is even then the person is caring. Coming to the baseline, this was all about the handwriting. Now, if you will see how those uh, letters are written on the page, so whether the baseline is going downwards or it is going straight, if you, uh, so the, if it is going downwards, then the person is a bit negative towards, uh, the person has a bit negative approach then if it is going straight, then it is consistent. If it is going upward, then the person is very active. If the handwriting is slant, as in how that handwriting uh, curve goes, if it is turned towards the left, left hand side more, then the person is self-reliant. Uh, if it is towards the right, then the person is very moody. And if it is vertical, then the person is practical. These are some of the uh, sample, uh, one of the sample. In this you can see the sentence is written in a quite uh, upward, little bit it is going the upward side and the letters are quite straight and uh, it is connected and the size of the handwriting is medium. So this person possesses good analytical thinking. It is social, he or she is social and active. The other, this is very opposite of the previous sample. In this, you will see the hand, handwriting traits you will find over here is right slant, rising line, connected, sharp strokes, small letters, large space between the words. So this defines the person as moody, introvert, independent, enjoys freedom, and the person is very active. The research discusses the wider outlook on how we can use a modified network to predict the proce predict and process images much faster than the other system. Analyzing this technique of proposed is used to predict the person's behavior from the feature extraction of his or her handwriting. There are certain parameters like baseline, slant line, even the parameters which we consider that is the dot on the letter, small letter i or the t, the bar of the t, letter t are input to CNN which outputs the writer's uh, personality trait. So there is nothing called as a bad handwriting or the bad handwriting doesn't mean that the person is bad. It's all about how you write an alphabet, its stroke, its curves or how much space you put in between words or the letters, whether the letters are connected or they are disconnected. This is all what defines you. Thank you.
पवित्रमिह विद्यते ज्ञानेन सदृशम पवित्रमिह विद्यते ज्ञानेन सदृशम पवित्रमिह विद्यते